Okay, this is the new wet cell. It's comprised of four aluminum plates covered with carbon on both sides and the graphoil plates that are covered with nothing. All right. These are about four days old and we're looking at 1.73 volts that it just sets at. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is charge it up with approximately six volts for about 30 seconds and we'll see what we'll get. Okay, charging at six volts. And what we'll do is we'll run the uh, small motor and watch the amperage after we charge this up for about 30 seconds. Alright, here we go. And she'll stabilize around 1.7 I assume. So let's see what we do here. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do first. Let you see the direct short current first. Alright, I'm going to direct going to um, hook up direct short. It's over half an amp. It stays that way for a pretty good while. Alright. And you see the drop. Okay, to be fair, I'm going to charge it back up just a little bit. Give it about 10 or 15 seconds. Okay. See it stabilize. All right, let's plug it up. Okay, we're running the small motor. And about 40 milliamps draw. It's funny how the voltage seems to increase. Now, I did use, for the electrolyte, um, I used sodium hydroxide.
So the aluminum plates more than likely are being used up. That's what I was using. I cut this off. It's real interesting that the voltage stays at right around 1.7 volts even though it's just running, still running, 40 milliamps on that little motor. Okay, what I'll do is I'll show you also in the next video how I made those plates and what I put on them. Okay, I'll work on the next video.